Hi all. In the last video, we saw an overview of meiosis, the process of production of sperm and egg. We learned that meiosis produces four haploid cells that are genetically different from one another. One of the processes that produces genetic variation among a person's gametes, sperm or egg, is called crossing over. Crossing over occurs during prophase one of meiosis. Recall from the previous video that homologous chromosomes physically pair up during prophase 1. When that physical pairing is disconnected, that can sometimes result in the exchange of parts of chromosomes. In this slide, imagine that the blue and red structures are homologous chromosomes. Each chromosome looks like an X because it's present as two replica sister chromatids. During crossing over, a paternal sister chromatid can connect with and exchange parts with a mat maternal sister chromatid. This means that along one chromatid there can be paternally derived genes in combination with maternally derived genes. Let's look at an example. Here is a photograph of the extended family of George H.W. Bush, the 41st President of the United States, and his wife Barbara. I chose this photo because it's a multi-generational photo of a well-known family will follow a hypothetical chromosome as it is transmitted from parent to offspring and then to grandchildren. Imagine that one of George H.W. Bush's homologous chromosome pairs is pictured, colored blue and lavender. His wife Barbara also has a pair of this chromosome, colored pink and green. When George H.W. and Barbara produce their son, George W., 43rd President of the United States, George H.W. provided the blue version of this chromosome, and Barbara provided the pink version. I didn't show crossing over in this situation. George W. Bush and his wife Laura had non-identical twin daughters, Jenna and Barbara. Non-identical twins are born from different eggs, each fertilized by its own sperm. In producing Jenna, the daughter standing in the back row, George W. contributed a mostly pink chromosome that had a blue tip. This combination chromosome resulted from crossing over. Notice that the pink portion originated from the elder Barbara Bush and the blue tip originated from George H.W. That means granddaughter Jenna received some of the genes of this chromosome from grandma and others of, this of others of the genes of this chromosome from grandpa. Jenna's other version of this chromosome from mom is also a mix of genetic contributions from her maternal grandmother and grandfather. That's what crossing over accomplishes. If you look at Jenna's combination for this homologous pair of chromosomes, it's different than her non-identical sister Barbara's combination. Crossing over results in variation among homologous chromosomes in each sperm and egg. I drew one point of crossing over for each of the chromosomes in Jenna and Barbara. In real life, each human chromosome usually undergoes crossing over at many points along its length, maybe 10 points of crossing over. So our chromosomes are pretty good mixtures of genes that originated from grandma and grandpa. Crossing over is one meiotic phenomenon that produces genetic variation among a person's sperm or egg. In the next video, we'll study independent assortment another phenomenon that produces tremendous genetic variation.